my task and purpose for this video was specifically to do a bunch of watt heads. And uh, unfortunately that has, well maybe we can do one real fast. No traction. get that alignment that drag specific alignment okay buddy i'll see you how is everybody surviving with all this corona apocalypse stuff going on hopefully none of you guys are sick nobody that you know is sick just stay safe stay indoors it's pretty crazy this is uh i know you guys have been to walmart target and you've seen the shelves like empty and stuff it's it's just it's beyond me i i it's crazy, never seen anything like it, it's nuts. But why has it got to rain every single day? <sighs> Drag strips this weekend are closed due to weather and also, you guessed it, the corona apocalypse. I know a lot of people aren't sick, the numbers seem really small, but I think the big thing is that there is no vaccination, there's no like real treatment for this thing. So even though the numbers are small, that's why it's such a big fuss is because, you know, they can't treat it. So if you get sick, it's luck of the draw. Yeah, you got about an 80 to 90% chance of surviving, but you're gonna get real sick. And you can infect somebody that, that may have a, like a, a weaker immune system or something like that. So um, yeah, pretty important, but all these different states are starting to go on lockdown. So that's what we're gonna do today is take care of some things and uh, just get ready for the long haul, I guess you could say. Finally, yes. We have valve springs in the car. Finally, yes. The car is done. It's complete. We are ready to go to the track. Unfortunately, Corona Apocalypse is taken over. All the tracks are closed and it's been raining like every day. So today we're gonna do some pulls. We are definitely doing some pulls. The weather is 70 right now. It's pretty dry and we have a lot more power. So we're gonna be on gate pressure for a little bit and uh, just see what the car feels like. Got it. Yes. Exaggeration. That uh, that hooked pretty good right there. like another 40 50 60 horsepower per the same boost level i don't know if it's actually that high a dyno would confirm that but it feels good we are off to mexico i, I live in a small town somewhat i mean it's big but it's not like new york city or anything but we have our first case uh, of corona 
that's the first one that's tested positive, which means that there will be more. Oh, Jesus Christ! That feels, that just threw me in the seat, I couldn't even move. So, we have uh, this car tuned by Rob Shoemaker himself. And I don't know if he's giving me a kill tune, I doubt it, not yet. Pretty good, you know, he threw me a tune. Normally you need like revisions and stuff like that, especially for, for these kind of modifications. Did I did some data logs and uh, everything was peachy. He's like, hey man, you're good. Car seems to be happy, so we're on the highway, we're about to be, and we're gonna go fast, we're gonna try. We are on my ET Street R's in the back, the drag pack, so we we'll let some tire pressure out. Should hook a little bit better. We'll see. Here we go. Woo! Wow. Yep, too much power for the street. That was uh, eventful. That was eventful. Let me try to just roll into the throttle. Let's try that. <sighs> After I can recompose. <laughs> roll into the throttle. God. We have like no tire pressure in the back. It should be hooking up pretty good, but it's just spinning. I don't know how in the world we're gonna turn this thing up to 12 pounds on the street. <laughs> we're only at like seven. Crazy, crazy, crazy power that 85 has given this car. That is such a different feeling. It just pulls me, pulls me into the back of the seat right here. You just feel it like a rock on your chest just pushing. That's crazy. And we were spinning while we were doing it. Nuts. recipe for disasters we are uh, gonna drop the car off now and uh, pick it up in a couple hours so hopefully by then mother nature will decide to bless us with a little bit of a drier street there's so much power here that we are not even like tapping into so these are big twin 64 67s and um, it honestly takes a little bit of boost to get these things to spool up but like when they're happy really wet up here where I just came from it was really dry Hello, police officer. I was behaving, I promise. I was not doing nothing bad. Things are always changing, you guys know that. It's never, it never ends. So what we have to do next though, probably next month I'm hoping, is we need to build the transmission. So I already have the clutches. I got a guy locally that has uh, done them a bunch of times. And uh, we're gonna see if we can schedule something up. different companies all these businesses are like shutting their doors this whole uh, sickness outbreak thing so I wanted to get as much done today as possible so on the off the chance that a drag strip is open you know we can take advantage of it but all right we are here okay uh, you want me to meet you over there 
Well, I, I got to go to Speedway for E85. Yeah, that's right. So I'm going to be in a whole different part of town. Huh? I'm going to be like across town. <laughs> Looking good. Looking good. Got that fresh alignment. Mm. Anybody else get this pop screen? I get it all the time. I cannot get that thing to go away. Turn everything off that I can, I can think of. Drives me nuts. Remind me later, close, and more info. It always comes back. I hate it. It's still really wet this side of town, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to really get into it anymore. We're gonna find out. When we get back into town, it gets a little bit more dry. It's like 70 degrees, so it's plenty warm enough. Those clouds are nasty. Yeah, look at them clouds. What is that? What is this thing? Crazy looking Miatas. We are gonna try to hoard some gasoline. Some E85, not gasoline. Uh, we want to still enjoy ourselves during the Corona apocalypse. That's so bad. A little over 20 gallons. 25 gallons are $47. I like it. Now, we got some gas. So, when people go crazy and nobody wants to leave their house, where they shut down fuel or whatever, gas stations, at least we'll be good for a couple of days. <laughs> and we can go out and hoot around. But, this on my hand. So oil is grease for the turbos. We gotta go find a grease gun. These turbos are really cool because they are not oil cooled. They are coolant cooled and every 3,000 miles or so or in between you can hit them up with this high temp grease here. So these turbos are a little bit different. You have that high temp grease. You don't have oil going through them. You just have like coolant, water, whatever you have. The only caveat to something like this is for a couple of minutes on first startup, like a true cold startup, you do want, before you do any like hooning in the car, you do want the car to come up to operating temperature and we all know that that doesn't take very long at all so it's not really anything lost it's not really a con um, but you know just something uh, that is a little bit different but we need to get a grease gun and uh, each of these turbos that live pretty much underneath on my legs here they have little zerk fittings underneath them so give them a couple of squirts every thousand miles or so every three thousand whatever you do uh, or maybe whenever you change oil you're not going to be doing eight to ten thousand mile oil changes in a car like this you're going to be doing every two to three thousand uh, especially when you're racing it and driving it really hard so come on traffic is bad wow car is so happy those valve springs really have done the trick um, everything that we've done to this car is really come together. The true test is obviously going to be the track. So, you know, that video will come obviously whenever one opens up being closed for weather and coronavirus and yeah. Ah, man. So that was six and a half pounds. But the power difference between you know like six and a half pounds before for example the car was making around 630s let's pretend um which is actually pretty close it's making about 630 something like that sae corrected but with the 85 it's i don't know i would say probably high 600s maybe seven but I, let's just keep it moderate and we'll say high 600s there's definitely definitely a huge gain from just switching the fuel <coughs> oh coughing got the corona the number's going to grow as we turn up the boost i'm truly truly excited to see what this car is going to do all of the months of tear down and rebuild and this and that um it's going to pay off it will pay off again this is the comp stuff it's proprietary so what you need to do is get a grease gun which and it has some multi-purpose lithium grease inside we will not be using that don't use that on your turbos you want to use their stuff this is expensive so that is unfortunately i guess maybe a con if you look at it that way i don't really uh being an oilless being oilless it's a simpler install uh the maintenance is i mean you're, you're gonna have less leaks and stuff like that for to go wrong i guess but 
you know, the, the technology has been around so long that uh, it seems to be, you know, pretty reliable. So um, you just every every so often. Now that tube of grease right there is supposed to last for a long time. So I'm not really wor that worried about it. Why can't I not find my seatbelt? I can't. These stupid brace seats. My task and purpose for this video was specifically to do a bunch of watt heads. And uh, unfortunately that has, well, maybe we can do one real fast. No traction. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's a riot. We're just roasting the hell out of these ET Street R's. And we've dropped all the tire pressure. We should be gripping like crazy. It's not even like wet over here. This car is dumb. It needs a prepped surface to go fast on. Uh, way too much power for the street. Absolutely stupid. Stupid power. With a manual transmission, it might be a little, it'll feel different, but with the automatic, it's just in the big converter. Remember we have that in the car? I mean, it's just, yeah, that's the video. So I'm gonna leave it to it. Uh, stay safe from the Corona apocalypse and the government fallout and everything else that's gonna be happening uh, here sooner than later. If you're already feeling the pressure, just you know, buckle down and deal with it. And I really honestly wish all of you the best. And uh, these crazy times right now, absolutely just nuts. But stay safe, everybody. Be good to your families. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Have a great day.